Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Maths key skill video on determining the nth term formula of an arithmetic sequence. Now what do I mean by the nth term formula? Well we saw this in a previous video that if I said the nth term formula let's say was 4n plus 5 then if I wanted the first term of this sequence then n gives you the position in the sequence. So if it was the first term n is 1. So when n is 1 then we get 4 times 1 plus 5, 4 times 1 plus 5, which would be 9. So the first term in this sequence would be 9. Now if I wanted the second term, the position n is 2, so you do 4 times 2 plus 5. Now that's 8 plus 5 is 13. Now do you notice that from the first term to the second term, that's going up by 4. And indeed, if I found the third term, 4 times 3 plus 5 would be 17. So it's going up by 4 each time. So it seems that whatever the number goes up by, that tells you the number on front of the n in this formula. So let's apply that principle to these sequences here. So if you want to write something down, find the difference between terms and put this number on front of n. So if we do it for the first one, can you see... Well, these are going up by 3 each time. So therefore, we're going to start the formula with 3n. Now, that's not the end of the story, because if the formula was 3n, then let's think of what the first term of the sequence would be. Well, the first term would be 3 times 1, because n is 1, but 3 times 1 is 3. But we don't want 3 as the first term, we want 2. So you can see there's a slight adjustment there. We need to make it 1 smaller. Hopefully this should become clear with the second example. Let's see what it goes up by each time. That's going up by 5 each time. So we start the formula with 5n. Now if we just had 5n as the formula, that would give us the 5 times table. Because the first term would be 5 times 1, which is 5. The second term would be 5 times 2, which is 10. It gives you the 5 times table. But we don't want the first term to be 5. We want the first term to be 7. So we need to add 2. And then that fixes it. And let's just check, say, for the third term. Third term, n is 3. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17. It works. Now, the last one is a bit more complicated. Can you see that it's decreasing by 2 each time? So the difference is minus 2. Same method, though, minus 2, n. We just shove the minus 2 on front of an n. And then this would give us the minus 2 times table. Because, look, minus 2 times 1 for the first term would just be minus 2. Second term would be minus 2 times 2, which is minus 4. It gives us the minus 2 times table. But we don't want the first term to be minus 2. We want the first term to be 10. Now, how do you get from minus 2 to 10? You have to add 12. And let's just check that for the second term. Minus 2 times 2, if it's the second term, minus 2 times 2 is minus 4, plus 12 is 8. That's correct. 